Today, we're going to be looking at the Imolent LD70 Mini. This is an EDC flashlight that's been out for quite some time, but I only just got hold of one of them. And the first thing that stood out to me, of course, is the design. I mean, just look at the thing. It's got a very cyberpunk kind of feel. Almost looks like one of those energy or health packs that you find in FPS games, if any of you guys are gamers out there. It's a very unique light, and not just in the look, but there's a few different features as well. That I'll go through really like that and yeah like I said it's been out for a while and Imolent have a reputation for squeezing the maximum lumens out of their flashlights and you might know that Imolent are the creator of the world's brightest flashlight the MS18 and SR32. Imolent market this flashlight as the brightest EDC available and certainly is quite impressive so let's go ahead. I want to talk a bit about the construction. So I'll bring this up closer to the camera. And as you see, you know, it's got that kind of angular design. You can see uh, just on the outside sheath or whatever you call it here, this sort of green part um, that surrounds the actual tube of the flashlight. There are all these interesting cutouts. It looks like it's made from these two pieces that are joined together. And, you know, you've also got this colored inner section here of the bezel this blue section there and yeah this black inner tube houses the battery a few different features as well including the proprietary charging here on the side there's no clip on this light okay so something that you just drop in your pocket put on a keychain perhaps anodizing is absolutely flawless matte finish it's quite grippy as well and i'll show you something here there's a little oled display on the side right there can you see so if i unlock it one two three four okay you can see the little unlock button unlock symbol there and this is actually i found this very useful it tells you what mode the light is on it also allows you to check things like the battery voltage so 4.02 volts with three taps okay when you cycle through the different modes you can actually actually tell which mode you're in very easily i've only seen this feature on one other light and that's the wubin x3 like i mentioned you've got this proprietary charging here on the side and basically you just connect that cable up like that okay sticks onto the side of the flashlight pretty easily and um, just connect that up to your computer or your charger going back to the bezel i'm just going to show you the xhp 70.2 led it's a tried and tested led and it's been out also for quite some time very efficient and floody produces a wall of light and you've also got that orange peel reflector here glass anti-reflective lens no dust or anything underneath and i do like that accenting of the blue that blue ring that just sits above the glass quick demonstration of the ui um, click once and the light will remember the previous mode that you had so uh, 20 lumens was the last mode also displays the battery voltage so if you go 200 lumens switch the light off switch it on again remembers that 200 lumen mode press and hold to cycle through 2000 lumens okay and double press to get into 4,000 lumens. Okay, switch off. And you switch back on, it's probably gonna remember the 2,000. Yep, 2,000 lumens, so you have to cycle back down again. Okay, you can access strobe, but that's only through turbo. So double press for turbo, double press again, and then you get into strobe. That's the only way you can access strobe. Four presses will lock the flashlight. Okay, so you see that little lock symbol there. Um, will not activate if you give it a little bit of time to turn off press again and the lock symbol will come up doesn't flash or anything like that just a simple lock symbol i actually like that unlock by pressing four times and again triple press if you want to see the battery voltage so i ran a bunch of ceiling bounce tests to show you how the light performs on the different modes and firstly we will get to turbo you can see here the light starts out at full brightness get 30 seconds at 4000 lumens before it steps down at two minutes it's about 20 percent output try to activate again at four just after four minutes and you get a spike 
of um, that 4,000 lumens and it just immediately ramps, uh, steps down again to that 20% mark where it remained for the rest of the test. On the 2000 lumen mode, you can see the light holds brightness up to just before two minutes. So you get 2000, roughly 2000 lumens before the two minute mark, before it steps down to about 40%. By about five minutes, the light steps down again between five minutes to eight minutes to about 30% where it remained for the rest of the test. On the third step, which is 900 lumens, you can see the light manages to hold 100% for just about three minutes before it starts stepping down slowly, hits around just 60% by six minutes where it remains for the rest of the test. Here are some measurements on my Oppo Lightmaster Pro, and you can see on turbo, got 179 meters of throw, color rendering index 73.5, and CCT 6930. It's pretty impressive for such a little light, especially with an orange peel reflector, 179 meters of throw. Beam's definitely on the floody side, though you do get a lot of throw, considering how small this light is, just due to the amount of output of the flashlight itself, especially on the higher modes. I think the beam is very useful, get tons of flood, especially if you're using this as a walking light. And even if you need to illuminate things off in the distance, you can still do that on the higher modes. So some considerations to be aware of. I did accidentally activate turbo and the reason why is because it doesn't take much. You just have to press it a couple of times like that. Um, normally some other lights that you have, you really have to double click quite fast for it to activate. So as long as you're cycling through the modes, not too quickly, you should be fine. But yeah, that's something to be aware aware of proprietary charging here and a battery an internal battery which doesn't seem to be replaceable i've tried to find ways to take this apart and um, haven't had any luck but i know there's a bunch of people who are trying to do this online through a budget light forum so i'm following a thread Another thing as well is that the magnetic charger doesn't clip on in the right direction all the time. Like you just have to make sure that you are holding it in the right way like this. If you come out from another angle like that, see, it doesn't sort of stick on in the right way. But if you come from this side, um, yeah, you're basically fine. You might have to shift it around a little bit. Another thing to keep in mind is that this light runs on an 18350 cell. So 1100 milliamp hours. It's pretty standard for EDC lights of this size, and it's not an issue unless you're hitting the high modes pretty often. There's also no clip, which I found interesting. Would it be nice if Imolent had put, uh, yeah, clip like a screw-on clip or something like that in here, okay? And look, this light does get pretty hot when you're using it on the 2000 to 4000 lumen modes, okay? But the good thing is that it does have a temperature kind of regulation in there and it will stop the light from overheating once you get to a certain point you'll see you won't be able to actually activate turbo there's a little heat symbol that will actually pop up so if you're looking for the smallest and brightest edc flashlight you can own the ld70 mini might be the one for you there's not many other lights out there that have all the unique features of this one they'll learn the smaller size and still be able to pump out 4000 lumens so if you're interested, check out the link in the video description where you can get one in a few different colors. And if you have any questions, just let me know in the comments. I'll get back to you. If you found the video helpful, do me a favor and click the like button so I can get my video out to more people. And if you want to see more flashlight reviews, make sure you subscribe. Immolent LD70 Mini on turbo. Such a practical beam, mostly just flood, but the center has a more intense area.
LD70 Mini and I'm going to pop it straight onto turbo 4000 lumen output look at that just blowing the camera out even in the front of the scene I'm trying not to I'm trying just to just aim the flashlight upwards a bit but uh, incredible I can hear someone and there's someone walking around to the left with some uh, high vis gear on you can see that I can see that person walking even with the spill of the flashlight okay let's just drop that drop that down a bit further um, this is 20 lumens 200 lumens more than enough for a walking light 900 lumens and 2000 lumens 2000 lumens okay and 4000 lumens Amazing. This is the Immolent LD70 Mini and uh, starting off on 20 lumen mode. 20 lumen, so not much. You can really just see here on the ground. It's a nice, floody sort of beam. Okay, so pretty much up until maybe at five meters, you're good. Okay, let's bump it up a notch. 200 lumens. 200 lumens. You can already see it illuminating those little shrubs in the center. It's a pretty small reflector, orange peel reflector, so you're not gonna get a huge amount of throw, but you'd be surprised at the, uh, at how far it can still go, considering how small the bezel size is. So this is 200 lumens. Okay, let's uh, flip it up a notch. 900 lumens. 900 lumens, and I'm, look at that, you can see the trees getting closer up really nice floody beam okay but a lot of the a lot of the lights concentrated sort of in the center of the of the beam but you do get a very nice smooth flood all around basically okay look at that so this is a nice almost sustainable more sustainable anyway this mode um, does heat up a little bit Eventually it will step down. Uh, but look at that, okay. And we can go on. This is 2,000 lumens. 2,000 lumens, and that is tinting those trees at the back already, kind of, as you can see. Okay, and you can see, look at how much light this thing is producing. It's just incredible how bright this thing is. 2,000 lumens. Um, eventually it does kind of step down and this is 4,000 lumens 4,000 lumens look at that holy cow this is one heck of a light turn it off so you can just have a look 4,000 lumens again um, and I mean it's just a really beautiful beam you've got so much visibility into your peripherals as well as that uh, concentration of light in the center normally lights like this really don't throw too far but um, impressive turbo again 4,000 lumens Look at that. Unbelievable. It's getting a little hot to hold.